I personally, personally feel that you could be tuned in on a better streaming than on God's Bible study. People are looking now for the right answer. Our late pastor preached the message. We all have our ways. You have my, you have your way, I have my way. But there's only one way that's right. Yes. And that's his way. Yes. And this is what we're here tonight. Is to understand his way. Yes. Of how to live, how to think, how to act. And before we get started, I want the choir to come and sing, My Faith Looks Up to Thee. Amen. My Faith. My Faith in this world. People are hopeless now. But God is still reaching out to mankind. Yes. Yes. And for you, we're looking on Rios, it looks as if we're scattered. Yes, we're socially distanced by families. Yes. Yes. We're complying, but our hearts are close together yes. in Christian love. Yes. Yes. You can't make it by yourself. I don't care who you are, how much you pray, how much you, that's good. But you need the love. Yeah. And you need it. Yeah. My faith.
Vice Secretary Deacon Smith and Sister Scott, who would like to stand and comment. Protocol has been set. Anybody? All right, Sister Raquel. Um, I appreciate what uh, was said and what I got uh, from Sister Scott was when she said to remember the past and what God has done for you mm -hmm. and to step out and trust God. Amen. Amen. All right, I'm going to, this is, I call it precious. <laughs> <laughs> Have something to say. Whatever you want to say. Um, I'm sorry that I, know, I don't know your names, but um, I was going off of what Which you, one? The, the, the um, both of them. Okay, um, Deacon Smith and Sister Scott. Yes, yes. sir. Um, I wanted to say, Deacon Smith, I like what he said when he said you have to praise your way through. Yes. And praise regardless of what's happening That's because right. the enemy tries to throw things in your head to bring you down. But when you get out of the bed, you give God praise and you push forth because That's you let right. the, right. the devil know right. then. I'm stepping on your head. I'm a child of God. I like what she said when she said, I will look back where the Lord brought me right. from. And not only will I look back, I'm going to look forth and know what he's going to do in yes. my life because yes. he is God. Yes. And he said it in his word that he's going to reveal and do what I ask him and anything he, anything I ask in his name, I shall receive. So I thank both of you for Amen. your messages. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 I thank God for the uh, high point and uh, the
And as he stood in the pulpit, I remember it was the way he stood. Sometimes prayer can be very loud, but then this particular time, it looked like he just calmed down. And he stood right there and he just calmly said, everyone is going to have to carry their own burden. Mm -hmm. And I mean, he wasn't loud with it. And I sat there and I said, oh my God. It looked like he just shifted, you know? And then another thing he said is, all of our rubber is going to be our road. Mm -hmm. That means everything we said we are. Everything we said we could do, we got to come face to face with that one day. So the next question I ask, I said, what will you do when you say your life challenges? And it's only God and you. I mean, you know, we all call somebody sometime and we talk and we get and we go places. What happens when you face some tough times and it ain't nobody? But God in you. Right. Ain't nobody you can call. Right. Nobody who can come. Because everybody else going through their own stuff. Right. And they got to deal with their situation. But you know you need help. Yeah. God will be there for you. Yeah. He'll be there for you. That's why God, by Reverend Scott, sound it now. Don't dismiss God. Right. Don't ignore God. Right. And he says this right here. Now is the time to get closer to God. Amen. So it would be wise on our part to listen to what God is saying. Right. When he got Reverend Scott standing there, he's talking. And it's good that we pay attention because it's going to come up again. Amen. Because right. all of us are going to meet our rubber in a row. Right. And we're going to have to face them situations where there ain't nobody but God and us. Right. But we want to be able to do like this right there. What if you to go to God in his prayer time? Right. Yes. And need the Lord. Thank you. Now is the time to get closer to God. He is the only one who will be there when no one 
nothing else can. Amen. Sister Elaine brought up was that 
things are not getting any better, but the only thing uh, that we can do right is to go to God for every situation because he's the answer. And she also said that God knows how to get our attention. Amen. Amen. When I remember these things, I pour out my soul in me. For I had gone with the multitude. I went with them to the house of God with the voice of joy and praise with a multitude that kept holy day. Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted in me? Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance. Verse 11, that was verse 4. Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted within me? Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him who is the help of my countenance and my God. This, uh, first of all, the Psalms throughout is a book of warfare, conflict, and emotional decision making. Uh, the Lord is my shepherd, but yet there's enemies there. They don't like to see my head anointed. Throughout the Psalms, there are emotions that are quite familiar with human uh, experiences. This Psalm, whether you know it or not, is no different than what we are experiencing now. This pandemic has caused us to uh, look at ourselves more yeah. than ever before. Sure, we can tell others, you trust in God. Yeah. You, yeah, hope in the Lord. You can, but you can tell, or you can tell me, or I can tell you all day long, but if I don't come to a grip with myself, so you have to, the first warfare uh, doing this challenge right. of this pandemic is not outside of us. Right. It's inside of yeah. us. Yeah. Yeah. What are you going to do now when they say shut down the church? Right. The warfare is against the church. You as in, uh, it's not just this building. It's you who say you believe in God. And then those who are saying, uh, they're saying actually is, show me your God. Where is your God? Where is the one you, you, you've been testifying about? And then this psalmist, he says about what he needs so badly. Yes, right. Because we cannot live without water. Right. Our soul will die without God. Right. Yes. Yes. Right. Amen. Yes. Our soul will die. Yes. Without the spirit of the Lord, yes. right. who is the living water. Yes. 
without the spirit of the Lord, who is the bread of life, we will die spiritually. So the psalmist is he's, he's, he's thirsting for the living water. And this pandemic has uh, challenged each one from east to west, from north to south. Where is your God? That's what's really being said. Where is your God during this time of restrictions? Where is your God? But what are you saying? What are you saying inside? What is your soul saying to the opposition that's trying to drown your soul, your faith, your belief, and your hope? What is your soul saying? It's a fight. And the psalmist is saying uh, what is going on. Uh, he's saying hope. So look. He's having a battle. He's having a talk. Not outside, but inside. How many times have you sat down and, and when the negativities come in your mind and in your against your soul, you begin to say, no, I'm not going to do that. The challenge is now is what are you going to do during this time? You're going to stop? You're going to stop exercising? You're going to stop walking? You're going to stop? You're going to, you're going to stop reading the Bible? You're going to stop coming to prayer meeting? You're going to stop going, going to prayer? When you, when you used to go to prayer and you were praising God, you had a lot of light, but where is your light now? Is the situation drowning your soul? Of hope. The psalmist saying, Hope thou in God. I remember when I was at the University of California and uh, I had stayed up writing and a paper all night long and I was walking through Sailor Gate. That was so vivid back in, I think it was 69. And I, I asked a question to myself. Why am I here? I'm just tired. Been working all night typing and going on getting the paper together. I said, why am I, why am I here? And then as I walked, I came to myself. I said, I know why I'm here. Suppose I would allow that thought to overtake my rational thinking to the point where I would have just quit going to class. I would have quit going to school and I would have drowned in failure. But you got to come to yourself doing challenges and hope in God. At the same time, praise His holy name. Verse 4 and 11 says, hope in God and praise. That's what my soul says when it comes to challenges. There's two sides to the coin. There's two sides to everything. It's our choice to fight and contend against the negativity of life. Oh, this psalm is right on time. But right now, these are times now that the world is saying, where is your God? What are you going to say now as you, as you come to the point where you have to say hope in God? Continue. This psalmist is saying my heart panic. In other words, continue to thirst after God. Regardless what goes on in life, continue to look to God to be revealed. And he will heal you. Hope thou. Yes. As he says, as he contends with 
but opposition within. Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And he says, Why art thou disquiet? Why are you being quiet? Get up from there. You got to tell yourself, Get up. Hope in God. And praise his name. As long as you sit there and don't praise him, you will have no showing. You are in your time of trouble. You need to praise him. The joy of the Lord is our strength. During this time of pandemic, the Lord is our strength. You have to praise him. We had, we used to have on Tuesdays, the brethren, the ministers used to meet. But during this pandemic, they shut down. Oh, right. Right. And, I, and I used to, my mind went back to when we had the Congress and, and uh, the, the state convention, when I used to go to those state conventions in Congress. Yeah. And I, I, my, I longed for that. Yeah. I said, I don't meet with the Congress anymore. Yeah. Right. I don't, but my heart says, trust in God. Yeah. And I'm going to take what I have right now. And praise his name. The power of Abraham, I think that will fill my heart because I praise him. Hope thou in God. Yeah, we can tell others, you trusted him. Go ahead, honey, or brother, you trusted him. But what about us? We need our challenges. Yeah. 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 What about us during this time when the world is saying, Where is your God? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Shut down. Where is your God? Yeah. What are you going to say? So, yeah. 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 my soul says, Yes. Yeah. I will praise you. Yeah. I will love you. Yeah. I will hold on to God. My faith, my faith, this promise is giving us hope. He's not going to quit. He's not going to stop. And neither am I. Because God has been too good for me. He put a roof over my head last night. I lay down in my bed. I ate today. My inside is digested my food. I got strength in my body. Oh, God. 